Welcome to Holistic Horseworks Talks. Join us with founder April Love as we talk about equine care. Learn what you can do to keep your horse happy, healthy, rideable, and sound through their 30s. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Just email April at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Hi, this is Lillian. I'm here with April Love. Uh, I've seen in the news about avian flu and how it's affecting cattle now and even people. Do you think this is something that could eventually affect horses and what can we do to prevent it? Absolutely. So remember, you know, genes mutate, you know, bugs mutate. So we had the COVID thing and, you know, it just, it transfers to species in the middle of COVID. You know, people that were sick were still petting the horse's nose and kissing them on the nose. So uh, in the long distance readings, I was doing virus in the lungs. It was coming up on all the horses. And what I'm seeing now that really alarms me in the past two years, as they're talking about the avian flu virus, in the distance readings I do, you get an eight page report and you email in left and right side pictures of your horse. And I'm like a medical intuitive for people, horses and dog. I can scan the body, say you need to release the atlas on the left or shrib on the right hips. But I also get into bacterial issues and where are they in the body? Are they in the head? We've caught a lot of bacterial sinus infections, um, broken teeth, cavities in teeth abscess teeth just by bacterial in the head and when they follow my protocol all the head shaking goes away because that's part of what's starting these head shaking horses is bacterial sinus infections or infected teeth and I ask about anything in intestines and also what is affecting the blood so in the past two years viral is coming up in the lungs of all the horses in the intestines. And if it's in the intestines, it means that they're taking it in daily and their system can't work on it. So if it's, I ask, is it from the feed? And I get a no. I ask, is it from the water they're drinking? And I get a yes. And if it's in the intestines, then I also ask if it's affecting the blood systems, which means the muscles gets into the spinal column, which gets into the brain. And when I find viral affecting muscles and brain, people will tell me they have autoimmune issues or gait abnormalities because the brain can't send the right func- you know, signals to the hind end. But the interesting thing is the viral in intestines and blood is coming back to the water they're drinking from. And I keep having to put in the reading for the client, you know, do birds poop and drink from the water? And they're like, oh yeah, all the time. All of my clients are now buying the inline filter that you can put on a hose for a motor home. And depending on the horse or how many horses or how many gallons go through it to filter it, um, you know, replace it once a month or once every three months. And that can help what's coming into the water trough. But we have to find a way to not let the birds that are carrying all this drink in the water and poop in the water. People are noticing their horse's health is improving if they're finding a way to keep the birds off the water trough. Is that going to be something that flutters over it? Is it going to be changing where the water trough is? You know, what are you going to have to change? so that you can keep that horse's water pure. Um, In my book, Horse 102, Holistic Alternatives for Healing, there are some things you can do for viral in the water. I think there's a stone or something on Amazon that you can put in the water for viral. I do know horses that are already testing for viral in their blood. And that can also be coming up like EPM from the possum poop, you know, and the haze and stuff. If they have bacterial and viral in blood, usually owner is telling me that they tested positive for Lyme. 
So for these things, we do my doTERRA hot oil spine treatments, which is muscle testing, which oils the horse needs. And they usually all have antiviral, antibacterial. We do this for kissing spine. We do this for EPM, for Lyme. Um, usually it's doTERRA oils. The fractionated coconut oil of theirs is very pure, stays liquid. I don't like the raindrop therapy because when you just pour the oils on the horse's spine and it blisters, they say, oh, look, the horse is detoxing. No, you blistered my horse's back and now I can't ride them. So if you mix it with the carrier oil, it's usually about 10 or 15 drops each of frankincense, peppermint. Um, on guard kills MRSA and viruses. That's what we use during COVID. Oregano is a huge antiviral. And see, peppermint, oregano, on guard, frankincense, and usually lavender because lavender cools the central nervous system. And about 10 drops of each, put it down the horse's spine. I put a hot, wet towel for 10 minutes, and then we put a blanket on on top of that, and then we'll take the wet towel off until the horse dries because you don't want cold air hitting the back. That's one of the th treatments that we do about every three or four days. You do have to be careful because when you do essential oils, you're not supposed to go out in the sun. So if you do this, either a fly sheet or do it after like four or five in the afternoon, the horses love it. The antsy horses that are always body slamming you, the horses that don't like to be touched or groomed, three or four hot oil spine sessions and they just change. It just helps the whole central nervous system. Another natural antiviral is colloidal silver. Um, it's kind of a pain. It has to be with distilled water. You'd have to syringe it to the horse. Or if they're in a stall, just hang a bucket of distilled water and measuring colloidal silver into that until they drink that down. The other thing we use is um, on my website, there's a recipe called Miracle Spray. It was originally designed as a hoof spray. We put it on the frog cracks and the white line area it toughens the sole. And then you put it on your hands and rub it into the coronary band on all four feet. And that's a miniature acupressure treatment in a bottle for horses. And it boosts our whole immune system, toughens the feet, gives you a really nice sole. But it's all edible ingredients. And when I've had clients in my classes that said, I have a bladder infection, I'm really uncomfortable. And we looked up in the doTERRA essential apps for women, what oils would help bladder infection. It was everything that was in this miracle spray recipe. So they would take a concentrated dose of that and a little bit of water and within 12 to 24 hours had no more symptoms of bladder infections. So horses that have dull eyes just don't look like they're feeling good. They have a real dry, brittle coat. You can spray it right in their mouth. It tastes like cinnamon and peppermint. It's all edible ingredients. It boosts the immune system. So that's another thing that we use when you have those stress factors of birds, which you probably don't have in the winter. You know, and other things coming to drink from the water. A lot of horses are on NID ditch water, and that is so bad for them because you have all the feces of all the animals. You know, anytime it rain, cow pasture, horse pasture, goat pastures, deer, you know, birds, everything coming down on top of all the farmers spraying with Roundup or whatever herbicides and pesticides all coming down to that water. So a lot of my clients' horses really suffer from the water in the summer when they switch them over to the ditch water or NID water. So the best thing is to, the other thing I do is recommend detoxing the horse and the natural cellular defense, which is on Amazon or the ACZ, Apple, Charlie, Zebra, um, Nano, on Amazon, both of those are antiviral as well. So I teach you how to go with your intuition, how to use your yes, no muscle testing. Is there anything viral in my horse's body? Which product can I give them today to support their system to better fight the virus? So you can't keep the avian flu virus away from the horses if they're going to be drinking, bathing, or pooping in the water, but you have to keep asking what does the horse's system need to 
not get COVID from people, you know, not get anything else when people are touching their nose and kissing them or other viruses from other horses in the barn. So I'm into clearing the liver and kidneys, boosting the immune system, and then asking what else does the body need right now? Is it a Healy microcurrent session? Do I need to feed the horse something internal? Do I need to do a hot oils, you know, spine session? Do I need to do all of those? I'm just really boosting people's intuitiveness because they'll tell me, I just knew something was off with my horse, but the farrier, the vet, the trainer, they said, oh, he's okay. Just keep working him until he got really bad. So I'm really empowering horse owners. Just listen to that gut feeling when you say, my horse just isn't himself today. You know, what can I do? People are amazed when they call or email me or text me that I answer, you know, within 24 hours. And especially if you're one of my clients, you can send me a picture and I can say, yeah, your horse's vitality is only 44% because he's working on a virus right now and lungs, intestine and blood. So, you know, to have a medical intuitive like that, to be able to help you with your horse is just amazing. And that's my goal, my passion. You can find a lot of that information on my website, holistichorseworks.com, my free ebook www.horseacademy101.com. I have a YouTube channel, Holistic Horseworks. Everything's that same name, Facebook page, Holistic Horseworks. And my goal is to raise up your vibration, your level, so that you're intuitive enough to take care of this expensive, sentient being. Here on Maui, you can't get a good horse for under twenty, thirty thousand dollars. And if they're shipped in from the mainland, they came on an airplane, then they're on the barge, you know, and horses get seasick and they get slammed around. It's really hard to have a horse here on Maui. An 80-pound compressed bale of Timothy is like fifty dollars. You know, horseshoeing is three to four hundred dollars, you know. So it's really expensive in some places to have a horse. And if you have to add vet bills on top of that, blood work, diagnosis, all of a sudden we can't even afford our own groceries and our own, you know, truck or car mechanics because everything's going into the horse. So if you really dive down deep into my program, you see I'm all about empowering you to know more. And when you feel you've reached your limit, you just reach back in with me and I empower you a little bit more. So I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Holistic Horseworks Talks with April Love. Remember to check the show notes for links to all the resources mentioned in this episode. Have a question you'd like to submit to the podcast? Email april at holistichorseworks.com for a chance to get it featured on the next episode. Loved this information? Share it with your horse friends. They'll find it helpful too. To learn more, visit holistichorseworks.com. And before you go, make sure you have a copy of our free ebook, Horse 101, Everything You Wish You Had Known Before You Got Your First Horse at horseacademy101.com.